Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PIFX. Before we start I would like to mention how much I appreciate all of you for your uh, support and likes and uh, I hope you guys keep doing so so I keep making these uh, video for free each and every week for you here on YouTube. So um, yeah as usual we're gonna take a look at uh, oil, gold and the majors while I roll the interim disclaimer you have the time to hit that like button for me and if you're new to this channel you will also be able to subscribe see you there welcome back guys um, we will not uh, do the usual and look at the Dixie th this week because there is something wrong with the, the Dixie chart uh, on uh, TradingView. Uh, this last candle should not look like this because uh, UUSD did not really move so much uh, in that direction uh, to give such a candle. So we will skip uh, the uh, Dixie and we will start uh, by looking at oil. So as I said last week, oil, uh, we've uh, been uh, bearish and uh, we were looking for a retest and continuation. We've got that. We've got the retest of this uh, key level of uh, support at around the 51 area, as you uh, as you saw uh, uh, during last week. And uh, the reason for that, because um, it was a, a a important area where we had many attempts uh, and many tests as uh, both uh, resistance and support on this level so after the re uh, retest of that area we've got a nice bounce to the upside and now the market is testing an area where we could expect possible uh, bearish uh, defense at this level because it is also another area that we may um, see some defense at we look left we see that this area been used Used many times at as resistance and as support so we are gonna keep an eye on this uh, on this level first of next week uh, because again this could be defended and could be an area where we could see the next leg to the downside so I'm looking for a uh, possible another leg um, down toward uh, 51 on oil as far as we are holding below this structure up here so First off, look for a possible sell here, but uh, this market still could give you one more leg to the upside and this gonna be the really key level for uh, the bears to show up and defend around the 56 area is another possible um, another possible sell level. So if we draw a Fibonacci retracement for this whole move, we see that uh, the 618 is also at this uh, key structure level up here. Okay, so um, keep, uh, an eye on that area gold still very very bullish so if we look at the weekly uh, chart we see that we uh, actually uh, broke uh, above uh, uh, previous uh, high here at around the uh, 1450 area that got broken now and uh, we also broke above uh, this structure here and here so looking left there is not much on the way until we start uh, looking at the retest of these levels up here at around the uh, 1550 level so I think the 1550 level is the uh, possible market objective to reach that area will the gold keep just pushing higher without any correction at all to that 1550 well I'm not sure about that it is possible but uh, I would say a uh, some kind of correction to the downside would be great now after uh, breaking above uh, this uh, previous high here this structure it could be a possibility now that we after this possible double top we see some correction back down toward the back down toward the 1450 area to then start looking for that next leg to the upside and uh, maybe 
to the next target which is the uh, 1550 uh, area yeah so short term possible correction down on gold uh, we go back to the daily time frame and uh, we see that it is uh, pretty extended we do have some divergence on the RSI as well and um, on the four hour we have an even stronger divergence for that possible double top so gold short term maybe downside toward monthly R1 and the previous uh, broken structure to then start looking for possible buys and continuation higher euro usd uh, a pretty boring week after uh, the first push higher it, we uh, after this um, strong push on monday we start seeing that uh, we went sideways yeah and uh, each and every day the high war was getting lower and lower and lower and could not push uh, much more higher so um, the four hour time frame showing a possible bullish flag here um, something like this or a pennant uh, call it whatever you want but uh, the main idea is there is a possibility here for this uh, bullish flag but as far as this um, support is holding you could still look for another uh, bounce from here and possibly for a break to the upside on this market if this um, uh, pair uh, breaks below a monthly pivot point strongly then there is a possibility for a deeper correction that may send us back down toward this key level of support that we uh, know that uh, it is a possible area that we may find bulls at right now the market is sitting as another level of support which is this area here so this is also an important level see how many times that area was tested as support and resistance many many times here that's why this is a key level right now where the market uh, may test again and uh, that's why we should keep an eye on that as a possible support area so one hour time frame it looks something like this let me take these off for now uh, because uh, <coughs> everything is uh, for now uh, based on this support if that will hold again then we're going for the next leg to the upside otherwise a break below it will make it uh, very easy for the beers to push this market back down toward uh, this previous level at around 1.1120 where you may find uh, some support once again okay sterling still weak continuing to the downside um, first off we had uh, the brexit no deal talk and uh, things were really really bad uh, uh, politically and uh, on friday we've got some uh, more news that wasn't good for the sterling uh, as you see here um, all these the gdp uh, lower than expectation manufacturing production lower than expected prelim gdp quarter quarter were also bad so uh, that added more to this uh, uh, weakness for the sterling and now uh, we uh, see that there is a possibility of a market objective to really test this last line of defense down here the all-time low around um, this area back in uh, October 2016 uh, this low been uh, uh, been printed so uh, I think the market objective is actually to reach that level so short term um, keep looking to sell uh, these um, um, rallies any retest toward this uh, broken structure now should be a level to look for another uh, leg to the downside on the sterling until we reach that last line of defense down around the uh, 1.1915 area is where this market should have uh, possible uh, objective to reach so uh, keep selling rallies on this uh, market usd jappy i think there is a possibility for a bounce higher uh, these remarks were was from our trading room so i was looking for a possible bounce here back up before the continuation to the downside now we uh, broke below that on a lower time frame as the four hour and the one hour uh, <coughs> And uh, <clears throat> the daily candle still not um, did not close below the lows. So, uh, as uh, on the daily chart, it is still possible um, for um, another bounce higher. Uh, let's not forget we trading pretty low here on this market below monthly S2. 
so it is a uh, bearish market still but there is a possibility that you may see uh, another attempt to push higher here before the next leg to the downside otherwise if they fail to uh, break above this uh, structure here let's say uh, we see the market failing to uh, go higher above any of these then there is a possibility for that continuation to the downside because longer term i still think uh, usually gonna test these lows down here uh, these couple of lows here i think this market gonna go all the way to that area and tag that at least so um, that is the the major uh, objective but a correction and continuation to these areas is also very uh, possible yeah so um, longer term bearish look for uh, sell rallies but uh, probably we need to see a, a deeper correction to give us a better risk to reward trade usd chief testing also a key structure level as you see here <coughs> on the daily time frame we've trading at a very important level this area been acting a nice support first time we got a very strong push here the second we have this push uh, and now we stopped at that level making um, a rejection here to then uh, go back down and test it on lower time frame we have a possible three uh, triple bottom here uh, with a uh, bullish divergence on the RSI so as first keep looking uh, at this level as a possible level of support and uh, <clears throat> maybe the area that may give you a push to the upside <clears throat> sorry a push to retest these previous uh, neckline here before any move lower to happen uh, for more downside of course we want to see a daily close below these levels so uh, if we get a daily close below these lows here something like this to happen that will open the door for the next leg to the downside there is nothing on the way here if we break until we reach this level of support okay usd cat as i told you uh, last week and the week before to look for a short term continue uh, reversal to the upside which was um, a um, retest of this uh, broken structure so uh, we were looking for this whole area here as a possible kill zone we saw the market shooting up a little bit higher all the way to monthly r2 before um, the reversal started to the downside now if we go to the uh, daily time frame we see also that the market did stop at the 200 moving average here we could not break and close above it another possible uh, signal for uh, that the beers are defending that level as well since the 200 moving average been acting as nice uh, support previously and now it may start acting as uh, resistance last week we've got shooting star formation with a daily close below that with this uh, very strong bearish engulfing candle so the shoot is the shooting star formation is confirmed and on friday we've got this bounce higher on the bad uh, employment numbers from the cat there was this shot to the upside which we now can use as a possible retest of the broken neckline of this uh, head and shoulder here uh, so we've got a retest and there is a possibility for the continuation but i would say for really uh, this market to start uh, moving lower longer term and give us that uh, push lower we need to see a break below the yearly pivot point which is this area here we need to see a strong break below that if that is the case then there is a, a big chance that we start seeing the continuation for a longer term move uh, to the downside which is uh, uh, a leg that may look something like this or probably even more so this is the longer term trade we are looking for all the way down here is the main idea but 
again this will take a long time for next week keep an eye on the monthly r1 any retest to this level uh, could be a possible area to sell because we already saw that we've got rejected strongly here if we repeat that we will try to sell it again from that area and for more downside you want to see this broken and then you will get your continuation uh, to the downside there um, Aussie USD also tested a key level of uh, support. If we change to the weekly time frame, we see that actually we tested below this uh, low here of the flash crash, strongly below that to then get rejected all the way, um, giving us this uh, hammer here. Um, on the daily time frame, the uh, morning star formation is confirmed here after this hammer we had the daily close above the high of the previous candle which is a reversal pattern that is confirmed now so um, as far as we holding back above monthly s1 i think there is a possibility for this market to start giving you some uh, correction higher after such a very strong move to the downside some kind of correction now is um, i think uh, is possible and uh, in my opinion the correction could go all the way to uh, this neckline up here where we have the monthly pivot point that would be um, um, a possible scenario to see this market correcting to this before the next move to the downside so again as for next week um, keep watching uh, this level down here where we have the monthly s1 uh, if there is no break below it then you start looking for bullish evidence and for a possible reversal to the upside New Zealand USD on the other hand was um, pretty uh, weak after that surprise from the uh, New Zealand uh, Central Bank since uh, they did a cut of uh, 50 basis point the market was expecting 25 now the question was it 50 uh, and done deal or there will be more to it uh, but they are just showing that they are uh, they are in a rush and um, I think there is uh, possibly more uh, downside here as far as we hold below these areas there is uh, still more downside on this market actually I did um, <coughs> send an idea for a very long time ago on the monthly chart when we broke this level here with this uh, candle uh, since June 2018 I've been looking for this possible scenario that we had this impulse a correction that got broken and that we may have the next CD leg to happen uh, all the way down to retest this low down here but before that we need to see a break of this level I think at least at least we may see a retest of that uh, B leg uh, here maybe a correction back up and then the continuation but at least we uh, could start looking for the market to retest this level down here so keep an eye on this level uh, where we have now retested already and got rejected once if the market keep failing to make a new high here there is still a possibility for that continuation to test that b leg on this market so first off um, this area then if we manage to reach these levels you should also keeping a close eye here because it could be the next level uh, for shorting this uh, this market so um, yeah that was it thanks a lot um, just to let you know the um, registration for the course is about to open and I will uh, very soon uh, make a nice um, offer to all of you who are interested in the course just keep an eye on my Facebook uh, uh, page and uh, over here on YouTube and you will get informed thanks a lot guys see you next week bye bye